All right, so unfortunately you tore your ACL. Let's talk about the ACL and what it is and what it actually does. Um, there are four ligaments about the knee. Ligaments are actually pretty easy, but they confuse everybody. A ligament is just a band of tissue that connects a bone to another bone and goes across a joint. So it doesn't stretch, it doesn't contract, it doesn't move. Just by virtue of where it is, it gives our joint stability. So like when you twist your ankle, you're tearing a ligament in the ankle because it gives our joint stability. In the knee, there's four ligaments we talk about. The biggest one, and we'll try to show you this a little bit, on the inner side is the MCL. That's a good one to hurt because that usually heals up on its own. The smallest one is on the outer side called the LCL or lateral collateral ligament. We don't hear so much about that uh, because it's less likely to be hurt just based on the way our anatomy is put together. Biggest one in the knee is in the back called the posterior cruciate ligament and that stops us from moving our knee backwards like that. This often gets hurt in soccer or actually more commonly in car accidents where your knee is bent like this and you might get into a little fender bender and a dashboard hits the tibia and moves it backwards and you can see where that ligament up here might stretch out and actually tear once your tibia gets pushed backwards. In sports, we hear so much about the ACL. This is the ACL in the front, or in the center of the knee, right here. We test it by pulling it forward. You can see how I'm stretching that just by pulling the tibia forward. What you need it for is it stops you from twisting. So when you twist, 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 usually your ACL stops you from twisting any further and you just go back and go about your way and you never knew that ACL was helping. If you twist, twist, twist too hard, then you can tear the ACL, and then oftentimes you just continue twisting and then he actually dislocates. So if you twist, tear the ACL, and then keep twisting, you can see how much shear strain we're putting on this cushion cartilage. This is the meniscus. In fact, it's the only cushion we've got between this bone and this bone. So if you twist and uh, keep dislocating, you'll end up tearing that meniscus too, and then as it goes back in a joint, uh, you get this consistent bone bruise on the end of the femur and the top of the tibia. So you twist, 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 tear the ACL, and you keep twisting, you tear the meniscus, and then you relocate and push it back in. So, the only reason we need the ACL is to protect the meniscus. The only reason we need the meniscus is to protect the joint surface. And if that meniscus isn't there, we have less cushion in the, the uh, joint surface starts wearing down and we get arthritis. So, sitting here, our ACL isn't doing anything. When we go twist, 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 we do putting our uh, meniscus at risk. If without the meniscus, we develop more arthritis. So the only reason we need an ACL is if we want to keep doing cutting, twisting type of sports. Unfortunately, once we've torn the ACL, the ACL is one of those ligaments that just doesn't heal up on its own. So if you've torn your ACL, you're really down to three choices. You can live without an ACL and modify your lifestyle so you're not doing any twisting activities. You can live without an ACL, not modify your lifestyle, and just put up with a, an increased risk of doing damage to the meniscus. It doesn't mean everybody's going to tear up their meniscus, it just puts you at higher risk for that. Or you can get the ACL fixed. Um, most people who are active and want to stay active are going to choose to get their ACL fixed. Unfortunately, most of the time we can't just repair the meniscus or the ACL. In fact, we can repair the ACL, but it tends to work about 50 or 60% of the time. When we replace the ACL, it works closer to 95% of the time. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you're going to go through all the rehabilitation. Let's go with the 95%. So what we do is replace the ACL with a new ligament. Uh, once the new ligament is in there, then it's six or nine months of rehabilitation before you're back doing everything you want to do, uh, but you're back to a stable knee. Keep watching, and the next video is going to show us about uh, how we decide what we should use for graft choices to replace the ACL. Thanks for your attention, and I uh, hope you learned a little bit about the ACL.